This is the absolute first time that I am hearing about this secret witness. Maybe you already know about it, but once I got the documents, I thought it was worth us talking about it. Yeah. Welcome. Let me jump over to this document so that we can go ahead and see exactly what's going on here. The city of Memphis Police Department recently released all of the documents relating to the decertification of the five police officers who have been alleged to have, I guess, committed second degree murder against Tyree Nichols in that incident from January 7th. Now, there are over 100 pages here, and this is for all of those officers. But going through these documents, one of the things that I came upon was this information in the documents about this witness who captured some of what was going on. Let me pull that up so that we can actually take a look at it. Actually, I guess I already have it up. January 7th. I need all my glasses. On January 7th, you and your partners apprehended a fleeing nonviolent individual at Castlegate Lane and Bear Creek Cove after the subject was placed in custody and other officers were captured on body worn camera making multiple professional comments, laughing and bragging about your involvement. Your conversation and lack of concern for the injured subject was witnessed by a civilian who took photographs and cell phone video. The civilian's viewpoint was you and your partners left the un, left the injured subject lying on the ground, handcuffed and unattended. OK, so this is just from one of the officers and most of the other files on the other officers tend to say the same thing, that there was this witness, a civilian who captured part of what was going on. This is the first time I'm actually seeing or hearing anything about this witness. When they have made statements in the past, not talking about the officers, when statements have come from the city of Memphis in the past, they didn't mention any of this. And yet this is out here. It makes you wonder who this civilian was, how much this civilian saw, the civilian must have been, in my personal opinion, the civilian must have been so concerned about what was going on that the civilian then said, you know what, I need to record this. It is going to be interesting to see when this cell phone footage is actually produced. It will likely be produced once we get underway for trial. We'll get to find out most likely who this person was who took the cell phone vintage footage, where this person was standing, what this person saw and heard separate from the cell phone vintage footage. I need to, I need to be able to say the word right footage separate from the cell phone footage, what this person saw and heard, because those are two different things. You've got a cell phone recording what's going on. And then you've also got your own vantage point of what you're seeing and hearing and maybe what you felt. None of this had been shared that I saw up until this point. Maybe you had heard something about it. I had not. So those are some of the things that we've been wondering about now that this has been released. So what are going to be the next steps with this secret witness. As you can expect, the prosecution is probably reviewing this footage as it pertains to the charges and trying to determine how that footage is going to further substantiate the charges that they brought against the officers. We're likely going to see this person testify that they were the ones who were on site. This is where I stood. This is why I decided to take that. They're going to go through a lot of questions and then they're going to have to understand that once they testify, they're going to be cross-examined by the defense. And so they're going to have to be able to defend what they're talking about. And it's really hard sometimes to, um, when you're a defense attorney, to come up with questions that make sense from a person who's just holding a cell phone and taking cell phone footage. 
So it is going to be interesting what this adds to the whole incident in terms of, of giving us more information about what happened. We already know we have the body worn cameras, we have the sky cop camera, but now we have this civilian, this unidentified civilian that nobody knows who it is yet that is possibly that possibly has information about this. So we'll see where this goes. I hope this brings you up to speed with this new secret witness that we now know about because of the released decertification documents. That brings you up to speed. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and peace.